folks, welcome back. And this is a new review of the NanoPi M3 from Friendly Arm Company. It's a single board computer and it's based on Samsung Solution, an octa core Cortex A53 chip. And the model is S5P6818. That's the CPU chip. And it supports frequency between 400 MHz up to 1.4 GHz. It has an Ethernet port, also built-in Wi-Fi and a Bluetooth support. External antenna interface also. And it has a micro USB port also for the power supply. And it has an Ethernet, like I said, port also and an audio jack also four USB ports in total so pretty much uh, needed four ports and also it has an onboard microphone and very cool design so let me show you and an additional thing it has is the GPIO 40 pin interface like the Raspberry Pi also so I forgot to tell about it operating system Ubuntu and also Kali Linux and also others like Debian and Android and other images are available so let me unbox and show you how it looks like this is the box but first I'll show you the casing that comes not included in the kit itself so it's a, a 3D printed case in pink color very nice this is the cover here we have all the bolts and also what's needed so pretty nice M3 in the front on the back you have all the ports you can see here so very nice so let's go to the board also nice box open source tiny pi pi tiny pi so let's open it it also has other interfaces for an LCD display also I will show you how it looks like so this is the board here you can see the processor that's the LCD interface that's 1 GB RAM okay Bluetooth and Wi-Fi uh, chip is here let me show you on the back the HDMI interface 1.4a Ethernet port also two USB ports headphone uh, connection I think that's the power or the reset button also this is the external antenna sorry this is the antenna and this is right next to it the external antenna connection so you can connect it to an antenna external antenna and that's in the side the OTG port you can see here for the power and you have a micro USB on the back you can see that's the micro USB card for booting and loading operating systems as an images as an image so you can use it for uh, all kinds of applications such as learning uh, operating systems uh, software, software development robotics very cool product in my second part video I'll show you how it works and of course the performance of this tiny product so thanks for watching and see you next time. Welcome back. This is uh, the second part video showing you how the 
NanoPy M3 development board works under Linux environment. In this case, I've installed Debian Linux and on my micro SD card, and so you can see the environment. You can also see it runs under LXDE version 8.1 desktop environment and it's an octa-core CPU, it has 1 GB RAM you have basic applications, PDF reader, file manager everything works fast and of course you can use the package manager to install additional applications the password is uh, FA for friendly arm the name of the company let's try again okay so basically you can use the package manager Linux system and install what you want other stuff you can see WPA GUI it's a basically UI to configure the network and in this case I'm connected to my Wi-Fi network and it works of course and uh, configuration is very easy you just enter the SSID of your network Wi-Fi network right now this is my SSID so I have Wi-Fi, not a problem to set. Uh, SMD player comes pre-installed also. If you need the player, I've also installed Office, LibreOffice. Also loads very fast. You can see. Basically, the system works really nice and fast. Again. Let's check uh, other stuff here. You have a terminal, of course. You can use super user. And of course, you can also go to Sys Task Manager. And see the CPU usage is about 26%. And the memory usage. 153 megabytes of RAM occupied so it's well balanced and for an octa core it's very fast and of course you can set uh, your own language also open a browser That's like Firefox, and it works fast. So that's the system, that's Debian uh, Image Linux. I hope you enjoy my quick uh, demo of the system to show you basically if it works fine or not. So I hope you enjoy it, and uh, you're welcome to subscribe my uh, YouTube channel. Thanks for watching and bye.